Hello, everyone. I'm Us Weekly's entertainment director, Travis Cronin, and you're in the Kardashian Corner. The show where we break down all of the breaking live news from the Kardashian Jenner clan because it's sort of their job and they're always up to something. I could not do this without my amazing two co hosts. Hey there, Brandy Rabadou. Hey there, what's up? How you do? And hello, Nicholas Gonzalez. How's it going, guys? Good. Well, let us get into some of the news because Kim and Pete Skeet, as he's formerly known as, <laughs> um, were in the UK in London. And the pictures are adorable, by the way. She has never looked happy, happier, but there were some haters trying to tear them down, as there always are when you're a Kardashian or a Jenner. So there was a report claiming that they were denied tickets for the Platinum Jubilee, which I can't believe happened because there was like Jesse Tyler Ferguson and Nicole Scherzinger and a bunch of people way less famous than Pete and Kim uh, seem to be granted um, tickets to the Platinum Jubilee. So a representative for Kim Kardashian told us that Kim Kardashian didn't even ask to go to Queen Elizabeth's historic event this weekend and actually returned to Los Angeles on Wednesday, the day before the festivities had even begun. Now, we're told that Kim was in London to support a secret project that Pete Davidson is working on um, and the nature of what it is remains unclear. Um, Pete Davidson's rep told us that there is no truth to the Platinum Jubilee report, but again, the pictures are adorable and he's working on some secret project and he's got some time now that he's not on SNL. Um, What did you guys think? Were you surprised that they weren't holding hands with Queen Elizabeth on the balcony at her Platinum (laughs) Jubilee? (laughs) That would be a sight to be seen. Um, I'm not surprised. I feel like um, at this point, Kim can go anywhere. I mean, she is at the Met Gala these days. She's at every important red carpet. If she wanted to be there, I'm sure she could have been there. Um, But yeah, I agree. There were way less famous celebrities there, but I did love the content we saw from that trip. They're matching blonde hair. It's giving me life. (laughs) It was adorable. Well, let's take a very long plane trip over from the UK back to LA with Miss Chani Jones. Chani Jones, haven't heard that name in a few weeks. Now, this is the Instagram model and well, learned education lady, as I like to call her, who was being seen with Kanye West, who looks just like a double of Kim Kardashian, uh, the one who said she didn't have any nose jobs or fillers to look like Kim. That's just the way she looked. Now, she just graduated from the University of Delaware and she is uh, pursuing a master's degree in counseling at Wilmington University in Newcastle. Now, she was out on Saturday night. She had her little yay tattoo on her wrist that was for Kanye. I mean, who else could it be for? Ye could mean anything else, but I'm pretty sure it was for Kanye. Now, she was out um, on dinner by herself on Saturday night in Beverly Hills. And then the night before, a below deck camera operator named Yvette Moda shared an Instagram snap of Kanye West Uh, whose birthday is this Wednesday, by the way, happy 45th, Um, out at a screening at Top Gun, and he was sitting next to a very pretty mystery woman in the movie. Now, Kanye hasn't been pictured with Chani West um, since they visited Tokyo all the way back in May. And this, if you haven't seen the snap of that, the Blowtech camera operator snapped of Kanye just at a public screening of Top Gun. She does not look like Kim Kardashian. She's very fair. She has sort of, I don't know, sort of timeless young beauty features. She looks very Downton Abbey, sort of. Like, it's the only way I can describe her. But as my friend Gwen Flamberg says, where there's smoke, there is salmon. So what do you guys think? They haven't, Chani and Kanye haven't been spotted together since May. She's going out solo, looking really good. What do we think is going on? I'm just surprised Kanye was at a public screening of Top Gun. (laughs) Can you imagine looking over and being like, oh, hey, hey, yay. I'm not surprised by this anymore because he's been taking like coach flights. He's very kind of like... He'll be doing the most outlandish, expensive things ever, but then also be doing very humble and, you know, things with a lot of humility in it. Just, he likes to be around with like normal people, I think. That's the yeah. one thing you, you got to give him respect for. Also, I'm ex- I'm also very excited that he wants to go see this movie because maybe he'll like want to buy it an F-14 fighter jet or something. Like, like <laughs> he gave away the tanks. Now he's going to just convert to, to planes. 
oh my god i <laughs> forgot that he owned the tanks he yeah. was in the back row with her they were seated in you can see that they're up against the wall in the back ones they were seated in the back row for a little incognito but very public screening <laughs> yeah yeah. But I feel like things are probably slowing down with Chani at this point. If he's out at a movie with another girl, I'd be mad if I was someone's boo and that happened. So, well, I think we'll see on his birthday. I feel like people always spend birthdays with the people that matter most to them. So we'll see what happens. Yeah, I, I don't know. The the Maverick, the Top Gun Maverick is like kind of like a, it could be considered a date night movie. It's like an old Tom Cruise flick from the 80s or 90s or whatever. And oof. Yeah, that, that movie choice is what makes it makes it for me. That like this could have been a little bit more than just like a friendly uh, movie screen. <laughs> yeah, and she just doesn't look like the kind of girl that he's been seen with post Kim, which means a complete carbon copy of Kim. When I'm talking about the type, she looks very different. So, but it still seems romantic. She's cute. I don't know. This could be a new assistant, but I think Nick, you're right. I think they go see Top Gun Maverick. It does have. It's very like man action movie, but it does have a lot of romantic undertones, and I feel like it's very like date night. But, you know, Chani was looking great on Saturday night, alone dinner by herself, and she's getting her master's and now she's super famous. So even if she's not with Ye, I'm happy for you, Chani Jones, and I will remember your name. Now, let's go back to Kim, because as I said earlier, Kim is under fire, as she always so often is. But she has doubled down this time. Now, we are talking about her decision to lose 16 pounds in three weeks to squeeze into Marilyn Monroe's gown for the 2022 Met Gala. And she has some comments that I, I personally totally agree with. She says, to me, it was like, OK, for Christian Bale to do it for a movie. And this was acceptable. Even Renee Zellweger gained weight for a role. It's all the same to me, she said, um, when referencing the extreme diet that Christian Bale um, infamously went for the, the machinist. Uh, it's really messed up if you look at the pictures of how much weight he lost and how scary he looked. And then he gained a ton of weight for the 2013 movie American Hustle. Um, so he lost 62 pounds for the machinist and gained 43 pounds for American Hustle. Kim says, hey, everyone, why don't you go? Um, you know, she's, uh, she said, I wasn't saying, how, hey, everybody, go lose this short weight in a period of time. She said, she didn't do anything unhealthy to fit into the dress. She said, I just simply couldn't have gone, couldn't have gone into the dress, which wouldn't have mattered. So she said, it was just as important for me to reach that goal than all these other actors in Hollywood. And I know we've talked about this before, but I totally agree with Kim. It's a little bit of an extreme weight loss, but I think to trivialize Kim's career of wanting to fit into a dress and make a start on the Met Gala versus, you know, an actor getting into a character for a role. No, they're not completely the same, but in terms of Kim Kardashian's life, those are the same and that's her, you know, big Hollywood moment. What do you guys think about her doubling down on this? I feel like we're her PR team because we said the same exact thing. We compared her to Christian Bale, even though that sounds insane to be doing, but it's kind of true. She's like a performer artist like she's yeah. out in these events so she's kind of doing this act of like okay and she's doing it in a healthy way i don't i didn't think she lost like an insane amount of weight she's not like christian bale in that level where she's you know going every day for the next two months only eating apple and drinking water and then like running uh, like 20 miles on a treadmill like she's she was doing it in a relatively healthy weight and she's maybe building back to her normal weight it was just for a one night thing yeah, 100%. I agree, you guys. And also, like, she never said that she didn't think she looked good or that she wanted to lose the weight because she thought the photos would be better on right. the carpet. She just really loved that dress and wanted to channel Marilyn Monroe. And even, I don't think what people realize, even after losing the 16 pounds, she still couldn't really zip it all the way. And she mm -hmm. had to wear that fur, white fur shawl around the back where the zipper was. So, I mean, she tried her best and I think she looked amazing and haters gonna hate. Seriously, I mean, this is totally her performance art and you have some magician like walking on a tightrope in between two buildings, <laughs> like risking their lives for like a stunt moment and for their fans and for their art. But like Kim can't cut out carbs and sugar for two weeks. I understand that body image is a really big issue and a lot of people look up to Kim, but this was for a special moment and she was a performance artist. So good job, Kim. I'm proud of you for not backing down. 
Okay. Um, and thanks for listening, clearly listening to us as we defended her. Thank you, Kim. <laughs> shout out for that. Well, that is all the news we have today in the Kardashian corner. Thank you again, Brandy Rabadou, Nicholas Gonzalez, for helping me break all of this down. And because the Kardashians are the Kardashians, we'll be back next week with a whole slew of new news and dramas. Until then, thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you next time in the Kardashian corner. Bye, Bye guys. Hey everyone, I'm Christina Garibaldi, the host of Us Weekly Celebrity Coverage. Don't forget to hit subscribe for the latest celebrity news, tips, and video. And for much more content, make sure you head on over to usmagazine.com, the official home of Us Weekly Magazine.